Hey guys, I'm J-Bob. So the job I was doing was a gravel pad for a garage. Uh, customer was getting a custom or a pre-built garage. So he had an existing garage there that got demolished. Um, it was late in the season that we did it. So we had to clear off all the snow first, uh, expose the material underneath it so we can get a six inch depth for our base. So we basically, yeah, he showed me where it's going, uh, where he wants to uh, build up the... Yeah, I got string line. String line and then, uh... Yeah. Well, I told him it's gonna it's gonna drop too, like, well, I'm gonna cut it, but it might drop down a bit because of the freaking... We're doing this in the winter time for outdoor frozen stuff. Yeah. Yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I just tried to freaking get this freaking little f***ing out of here. Yeah, no, he's nice. Yeah, I already talked to him, so. Uh, because there was already a, a pre-existing garage there, uh, we were able to use the the existing gravel there so we didn't have to dig as deep. And there was a 16 by 16 foot spot that was mud that 
was a small section that I had to cut out to get the proper depth and then top it up with gravel.
here's a little progress shot. So with that, we didn't have to rip up, uh, use our soil conditioner. It was just basically uh, use the existing, clear off the snow, use the existing gravel, clear the mud, bank off the sides, uh, lay down the, the gravel and then pack it. Uh, make sure we pack it properly because he needed uh, 14, or needed 14 feet wide because the garage is, I believe 10 feet wide. So we want to make sure we have extra space so that way the uh, when you put the garage there you have a little bit of extra space so that the gravel doesn't uh, erode and then the garage falls down or shifts. So that's why we went wider so we went 16 feet wide to give him uh, more room for his garage pad. Uh, that has to be perfectly leveled for the pre-built so that way the garage is not sitting on an angle. You want to have it nice and solid so it doesn't shift. Uh, obviously because of doing it in the winter time everything's going to melt and it will shift a little bit so that's why we want to pack it down really nice. And uh, fortunately with the winter time we can't use water, all the water, it's, the taps are shut off so that uh, the lines don't freeze up and break so we have to do a dry pack. And then, sorry, I forgot to take aftershocks. I was trying to get everything all rolled up to go to another job. Bye.